I'm Dave Roberts. I'm the Managing Director of our Viznet business. Viznet was created to combine the Viznet hub, our recloser technology, and the software stack that we've got to support that. By monitoring the grid, we can push the grid harder and make sure it can accommodate the transition to electrified heat and electrified transport. All that data is then processed locally. We can deploy analytics in the form of apps into the device itself. We can then visualize that data and really bring it to life for our customers. My name's Chris Lowsley. I'm the LV product manager for the EA Technology Biznet. It's one of the most exciting places to be at the moment because it's a whole new frontier, in particular electric vehicles, solar, heat pumps, all these things are being attached to the low voltage network now. How can we get more visibility and how we go about improving the networks and keeping the lights on? One electric vehicle uses about the same amount of energy in one year as one house. So if you take the 26 million homes that we've got and then look at the 32 million vehicles we've got in the UK, it's almost equivalent of doubling the housing stock. What we're trying to do is make sure that you can use the grid's capacity at the right points. We can smooth that out and actually get much more out of the existing grid. Our main target customers are the distribution network operators. The main benefit for the use of Viznet Hub is that it gives them added visibility of what's going on on their network so they can run them in an expedient way. We realised it was possible to have something like a smartphone as a substation monitor. The Viznet Hub can be updated with new applications, which makes the system very flexible. Having more granular detail of what's going on in electricity networks was key. We're starting to build a picture. Understanding what's happening out on networks will help us to achieve our net zero targets. And I think the Viznet Hub will be one of the major pieces of equipment that helps to get us to that 2050 target.